So we've got our false rim and our two other rims together. And all I've done is just zip tied those on too. So what we're going to do is um, I just make one continuous piece and then I pare these down or slipe them. And then I've got a thing on that too. And what I'll make sure is that I don't have this at the start of the lashing. It just makes it it's one more thing to contend with. So remember that you want to put your handle to the outside. So when you start out, you want it about in the center, but it's going to shift around, so I just do one side and then measure it up. Okay, and you do want this, because this is an egg basket, you do want it a little bit lower, plus you've got, you know, a lot of rim here that you're contending with. So, um, so once again, you've got your handle on the outside, you've got your th basically three rims, two rims, and then a false rim, and that's one that you're going to turn on. So... We are going to start with a lasher that's already wet. And um, this particular basket is woven with tie-dye reed, and which means it's been in a lot of dye baths. And the best thing to do is to wipe it. And do I have my rag here? No, I don't. But if you wait just one minute, I'll have it. And then I'll cut that out later. How's that? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to wipe the reed down that I'm going to use. And I'm going to turn on the light and see if it makes any difference other than blinding me. Okay, so when I start this, I want to have it so that it is diagonally across the back. And what's going to happen here is, see how those have got that really tight? Well, there's no way I'm going to get something in between there. So, what does that mean? It means if it's in your way, it goes away. And I think I'll take that one off too. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a tail on the back. And that is so that when I make my first X, I can grab that. First X goes from the right to the left, and then I'm going to open this up a little bit. Much rusty weave, right? I hope. So I'm going to do this one too. And you just leave that in there to hold it for a little bit. And so now I don't want to twist it, so I call this needle and thread knit. Okay. I usually don't weave that way, but in the lashing I do. Okay. Bring that through. That's the first part of my axe. So the let me start this. See, I've got all sorts of curly cues here that I do not want. Just gonna open that up and twist it where I want it. No, I'm not. I'm just take that end out. That's a lot easier. And then I'll put that back the way I wanted it. No curly cues. There's the first part of your X. And this is the second part of my X. Now that second part of my X goes from the left to the right, and you'll see in the back how it caught it. That's what keeps it from uh, it keeps it keeps it tight. All right. So here's the second part of my X. Pull that through. I don't have a loop in it. Hold that tight, and then you know, starting this off because you're messing between these two hoops. You want to make sure that's good and tight. Okay. So then you're going to come diagonally across this one, uh, across the the back of the second rim, and come up to the inside. And that's going to be the first part of your X here. And I really need some 
something to open that up for me like that or we write tool is fine too just something to so that you're not trying to So you, not, you, it, so you don't need one more hand. Okay, so then I'm going to come down. And this is going to be the second part of my X. Now, it's done a little bit differently, but it looks the same as the top. And that's what we're interested in at this point. So that's going to go through here. And then we're going to, once we get those two X's done, so we've got this lashed together. Then we are going to make sure we don't have a twist. Oh, I twisted it when I didn't need one. Open that up a little bit. Okay, make sure that's good and tight and centered. And then we're going to actually start the weave. All tightened up nice. So I'm going to weave up. this false rim and like I said you know if it's too tight just put something in there and loosen it up once you get it going you won't have that problem but as in anything starting a basket if you have 15 hands it would really help you out all right so I want that close and I'm gonna loop around that false rim okay and come back down here make sure that's good and tight come across the bottom part of that handle and then these are in my way and make it too tight so I'm going away in between these guys we'll just find the end so, and once you've got this done, I say it's not so cumbersome, and then you're just making sure that you don't have twists in it. All right, and over and under up to the top rim, bring that in close, going around it, and coming back. Okay, so then I'm going to do this for about, oh, six rows. And when I say six, that'll look like three turnbacks on each one. So this is one, this is two. Okay, this time it goes under. And I'll do the same thing. I'll leave this with a, um, this long tail once I get this lashed. And I will do that same thing over on the other side. And then it'll be time to add that first set of ribs. Okay, so get that in good tight. So you want your weaver wet, but not your basket. You want the stakes in your basket to have a rigidity that they have when they're dry, so your shape doesn't, um, you know, what do I say, get compressed. How's that? Or lose its shape. So, so you get the idea of what this is going to look like. Now I'm going to have three, three wraps on the top on each side before I'm ready to go to the other one. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that. This is my second one on this side. Let's see how it gets easier every time I do it. First ones you think, what? After that, it's not that big of a deal. So this is two wraps on each side, right? hear my husband laughing in the background. So this is going to be the third wrap on the left hand side and then I'll come back over and do it on the right hand side. So remember your weaver needs to be wet. What I'll do is I'll go over on the other side and do that lashing and then I will uh, come back over to this side and this weaver will be all 
set ready for me to put in some ribs. But um, it won't be wet, so I'll need to wet it. So anyways, you're going to have three on this side and three on that side, and then you'll leave it alone, come over and do the same thing over on the other side. Okay?